Our topic for this year is the sciences are more important than art. Yes. <laughs> so where are the science students? It's all right. Where are the arts? Well, in this case, it seems like the art students are more excited than yes. the sciences. <laughs> Well, we know with no more delays, um, I would welcome the first speaker for this debate, which is Miss Olive Lane. Let's welcome her. All right, time to far. You may start the clock. Mr. Moderator, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, my co-debaters and fellow students. My name is Olive Lane and I am here to oppose the motion which states that sciences are more important than arts with the following establishing points. Art is the human expression of ideas, thoughts, feelings, emotions. According to the words of artist Henry Matisse, creativity takes courage. The human race would not be able to exist without the outlet of the art. What would scientists do without the freedom of expression that music, literature, fine arts, film and television bring? always whining about what life would be without them, aren't they? Yeah. But did they stop to realize that life itself is science? Good day, Mr. Moderator, panel of judges, timekeeper, co-debaters, and my obviously evolving audience. My name is Iris Azuka, and I stand here proudly proposing the motion that states sciences are better than arts. <laughs> Apart from arts being more popular, can I get a witness? Yeah! Art is more important than science because science may bring the medications, the technology, the wars, but without art, meaning fashion, literature, dance, etc., the will to live is lost. Ladies and gentlemen, the point is this without art, you cannot even enjoy science. <laughs> Much like my opponents, art has no respect for order, structure, and procedure. Have you ever heard a more disastrous closing? That's right. Only the cause of something. From infrastructure structure to medicine to discovering whole new worlds, how can stick figures and coloring compare to a practice that literally sustains the oceans, sends man to the moon, and gives an amputee brand new legs? Are you okay? Nervous? No, no, no way. I got this. Good. Because you're turning. Mm. My opponent just presented some sad points. <laughs> uh, all protocols did you observe? Because I just got one minute to wrap up this. News fest, <laughs> am I right? Whoop. My point is, arts are the sustainers of human life. You said that already. Oh, thank you. Let's go, Grace. You can do this. Just say something. Shh. In. In, 
In conclusion... What are you concluding? When you barely made a point. Alright, debaters, I think we are getting somewhere. Finally, two minutes left. Please get ready. Hey! <laughs> hey, what's going on? Um, Olive, you, you know Abasiama, right? Hi. Hi, I was just inviting him for a chess club hangout. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> he doesn't play chess. Actually, that's I. Bad, but we could teach you. Oh, he, he's not a good learner. A little slow in the head. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, I do. It is actually nice talking to you, Adam, and you too. Adam. You too, bye. <laughs> Why are you trying to make me look stupid? You'll thank me for it. Grace, what was that? I thought you said you were ready. Well, I wasn't. Uh, we next year. There's no next year. This is not the time and place, ladies. We need a killer closing point and we're not going to get it by arguing. So please, let's think. Please. Poor Ollie. And Cole. Things were working well for you guys. Until this one put her foot in her mouth. I guess you'll never be good enough. <laughs> Fighting is against the rules, Racy. You would forfeit your debate. I thought you were smarter than that. I guess I'd really do dumb you guys down. <laughs> Thanks for the visit, Iris. But you haven't won yet. Sure. But don't forget our little bet. When we do, you won't. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Bye. Is there a special school where people learn how to be mean? Grace. This was all your idea. If we lose this bet, I won't forgive you. What was I thinking? I'm sorry guys, this is too much pressure. Wait, go back. Great. How the mighty has fallen. You know, Olive, Adam, and Esther, they don't really befriend anyone who isn't like them. You're just another charity case. Like Maria, so pathetic. What do you want, victory? Remember when it was just me, you, and Precious? You were the boss. Nobody could make a fool out of you, like Olive just did. You're better than this. Wake up. Olive hasn't really accepted you yet. She's just trying to turn it into a mini version of herself. She's too proud to accept the real you. What's really annoying is that I told her I didn't want to join the debate. I just wanted to be part of the team. She didn't listen. She acts like she knows everything. <laughs> Olive values looking smart over your personal feelings. And she can be a bit controlling too. A bit. You don't know anything. Before you joined our class, Olive was an arrogant nuisance. Now it looks like she's the one handling you. Not me, oh. Yeah, I've been a fool letting her control me. <laughs> My dear, <laughs> you better wise up. If not, I need to control you. Just, she can't try that. She can't try that. You think? She can't. I'm Grace. She can't try that. Welcome back. How was school? Well, standing on a pre-existing protocol, I am here to conclude my opposition of the suggestion that science is more important than art. My opponent talked about the advances of science in limb replacement and astronomy. And while I commend the excellence, I can't help but point out that in regards to the environment, it is the selfish ambition of the sciences that brought oil and plastic spills to the ocean and harmed the atmosphere. 
the same scientists are looking for a way to solve these problems with strict measures. But how long before all the art in the ocean is destroyed? How long before the endangered species and climatic changes irreparably upset the balance of things? A balance that the great artist Mother Nature has strived to maintain. With these concluding points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince you that art is more important than science. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's my girl. What was that? The concluding speech of our debate. That was awesome. Why are you crying? <laughs> it would have been if I'd gotten the chance to deliver it. What happened? Well, Grace got cold feet and absolutely butchered her points. And not in the Michael Jackson bad is good way. We lost. Again. I'm sorry, honey, but there's never really a winner in topics like that. <laughs> well, they picked a winner, all right. Your points were excellent, convincing even. But sciences are not better than arts. That's what I was Sciences and arts are equal. You sound like Mr. Ben. Then he must be a very smart teacher. Even if one isn't more important than the other, in the end, I failed the very point of the debate since I failed to convince. Well, at least you have the good sense to blame yourself. Blame myself? We aren't you the team leader? Yeah, but... It was your duty to put a capable candidate on the team. <laughs> capable? Have you heard Grace argue? She deliberately ruined the debate so her precious science class can keep the trophy. You know your friend wouldn't do that to you? Wouldn't she? Have you asked her what happened? Doesn't matter, Mom. We lost and you're on her side. Olive, honey, I... Like you said, Mom, it's all my fault. Times like this, I really wish you were here, Gabriel. You know what? I think I will let her figure this out herself. <sighs> That's the fifth time. Why do you keep saying? Are you for five years old? I'm so sorry. I'm just stressed out. Olive could be in trouble when her only crime is being a woman. We've lost the debate, which means we've also lost the bet. And Olive has suffered the penalty. And Grace is not even here to show remorse or support or anything. Everything sucks. It's going to be okay. Why isn't Adam here anyway? <laughs> He's probably ashamed to be seen with us. The debate losers. I'm sorry guys, I was... What are you doing on the floor? Take a chill pill, ladies. And boy, what happened? Apparently, one of the girls took a video of our discussion the other night and showed it to her mother. Which girl? Oh, oh, oh. No, no. My lips are sealed. The look on Esther's face says she's in the mood to handle things. What are you going to do about the bed? I'm not going to do it. Grace will. Well, we agree. I don't care what we agree. It was Grace who decided to place the bet. And, not so ironically, it was still her who decided to mess up our chance. So if you ask me, I agree. Grace should take the punishment. See? Another smart person agrees. But I agree too. Do I have a choice? What do you think? <sighs> These girls pick up all sorts of information from unreliable sources and run with it wholeheartedly. So you'd understand why we're having this precautionary meeting. From what Olive told me, they didn't discuss anything near what she's been accused of. Menstrual circles are perfectly healthy conversation among teenage girls. That's why they have their mothers to guide them. Why should Olive be faulted for speaking up? Mrs. Lane, we are in no way faulting Olive for being well informed. We just want her to keep her information to herself. Could you please not interrupt? No, 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 it's fine. If this is the woman laying charges on my daughter, I want to know what her problem is. <laughs> What my problem is? My problem is your daughter acting like she knows everything. These matters are between mother and daughter, not open, careless discussions. I have absolute confidence in my daughter's choice 
to share with her classmates. Is it not your duty to guide your child rather than attack mine? How dare you? Well, if you want your child to remain in the dark ages, that's your decision, which is perfectly fine with me. But don't you dare come after my daughter for attempting to educate yours. Well, I, I, I think... I think we've, we've heard enough of this. Frankly, that child has done nothing wrong, in my opinion. So there is no case here. Mrs. Lane, we are sorry for the inconvenience. I'll have a few words with Mrs. Gladstone. Thank you. Good day to you both. Now listen, madam. I will not take it lightly the next time you come into my office and threaten my authority. This is why we don't put women in the position of power. We let our petty emotions get in the way. <laughs> I may be just a woman, but I am well aware of my rights. You cannot come in here and tell me how to run my school. If you don't like it, take your business elsewhere. Have a good day, madam. Lovely, you can come in now. <laughs> you, oh, and you too. Where were you Sunday night? What do you mean where were you so? Oh, the movie night! I'm so sorry, babes, I forgot. Oh, yeah, sure. No, really, my dad decided to surprise us a day early, so we had to spend time with him. You? Uh, yesterday was my dad's death anniversary. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Excuse me. She's the only one with a reasonable excuse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What about them? I was there. All oh, they fell asleep and drooled all over the place. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> nope, I have to be joking. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ma. Adam, it's been a while you came to the house. It's okay. Just find time and come and have dinner with us. Yes, Ma. And you too, Esther. Yes, Ma. Hi, Mommy. Hello! <gasps> <laughs> hey, Rose. Rose, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Ezra. I don't know if he told you, but... You broke up with him. So why are you looking for him? He was really upset the last time we spoke. I just wanted to make sure he's okay. I stopped by his desk, but they hadn't seen him today. Look, Ezra is on me. He definitely will not find him in town. I just need to sit. I'm so sorry to have bothered you at work. Will you be fine? I don't know if I made a mistake, okay? I'm so confused. Look, you made your choice, okay? Now you have to live with it.
only seems fair that you suffer the consequences. We agreed that the team leader has to take the punishment. And who was the team leader here? You. I know, but don't you have a conscience? You introduced the bet and you made us lose. I agree with Olive. Well, I don't agree. Shouldn't have even forced me to debate when I said I did not want to. You yourself agreed that you were one of the best speakers in our class. So what other option did I have when no one else wanted to represent us? There's no guilt. Stay out, out of it! it. It's even just a stupid debate and a stupid bet. Why can't you just take responsibility? What kind of a leader are you? Ironically, that's exactly what I'd like you to do. Take responsibility, Grace. Once every year we get the chance to prove to sciences that arts are not to be messed with. But you ruined it! I won't take the blame because you think I should. Just because you're smart doesn't mean you're always right. Ah, uh, look at the art class team. Such a sad little team. Are you have a stinky face? How can I help you today? Ooh. Don't tell me you still haven't gotten over losing yet. We'll always win. It's not personal, darling. Mm. We are just better. <laughs> of course, darling. Are you sure? Because if this was my team, <laughs> I'll be mad too. Very, very well. well, every team has their strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Not ours. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. You only have weaknesses on your team. Ooh. All that clever talk, and you still couldn't win. <laughs> See ya. Come back here and catch these hands. Look, I'm leaving. Where are you going? We are not done. Girl, come back here. We're trying to beat your former classmates. Iris and Ivy may be the twin spawns of Satan, but you can't deny they know how to debate. I think we can beat them. Yes, Maria, that's the spirit. Well, since we already lost the debate, we just need something to beat them at. Mm. We have something. You see, I have seen the beginning and the end. I know all that there is and all that is. How can we defeat them, stinky boy? I won't help if Esther won't be nice. Esther, please, please, be nice. Mm? I really need this. Please, I don't want to be the friend. Fine. I'm so sorry we all go Julius. How can we defeat our enemies? How is that for being nice? That will do. Please, guys. I may or may not know of the secret game the science nerds play with one every month. Mm. We not get anything they want. I repeat, anything they want. Will the twins be there? <laughs> they are currently the reigning champions. What's the game? Oh. What? Huh? The game, what is it called? W-H-O-T, what? Uh, oh. What are you doing? Now I get why you guys lost the debate. If it's a science class thing, they won't let us in. Oh, come, come, gather around my young paddle. Let Master Yoda show you the way. Mm -hmm. okay, so, so, game, we just have to strategize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Thought you guys didn't want me on the team anymore. Well, now we do, so stop acting like that. What do you need? We need the location of science class game. Which game? The secret game your course classmates used to play. Ex classmates? Yes, yes, ex classmates. Look, we finally found a way out of this bed. Please tell us. I'll show you. I'll show you. Move, 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 move,
<laughs> was that the last man standing, or is there someone else hoping to get cleaned out? No one. Cuisine. No one. No one. I'll clean you out. Whoa. Yes, whoa, whoa, whoa. How the hell did they get here? What are you doing here? Science students only. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Traitor. You brought them here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It is people like you that join Call mm -hmm. What kind of meeting place is this? Are you going to play or are you scared of going against the art masters? <laughs> 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 Who am I playing? <laughs> Shuffle and serve, baby. So our policy is the winner takes the pots and whatever else they want. Alright. So what do you want? Nothing much. Loser takes the debate punishment. <laughs> We knew you might try to escape that little bit. Sure. Chickens. <laughs> Chickens are actually very vicious birds. I have no idea why or how. They're symbols of cowardice. Uh -huh. That's actually a very good point. It's very dry. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And when I win, Adam Andrews has to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Gross. Warning card. Pick two. Pick four. Pick six. Pick eight. Yeah. Warning card. Suspension. Hold on. General. Oh. Last card. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you want? Star. <laughs> Go to the market. Go. Check. Half the class together are still dummies. She's just walking. I don't gamble. I'll take the iPhone. My God, I can't believe we have to kiss Johnny Big Lips. <laughs> Looking about to make some right? <laughs> Go on, girl, you can do it. He's waiting. Mucker up, lady. <laughs> Moisten those lips, girl. <laughs> <laughs> he opened a fresh bottle of mouthwash just for you. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, 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 Let's go, let's go! 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 Let's go!
Wait, 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 wait. So you guys actually agreed to kissing Johnny Big Lips if we lost the debate. What kind of stupid bet was that? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> All you've said that you're missing the whole film. You guys have been thinking. About what? I was the team leader of the debate and I was wrong in so many ways. Like what? First, I shouldn't have made Grace present. She had said she hated public speaking and I made her go out unprepared. So our loss was my fault. And even though we escaped kissing Johnny Big Lips, I realized that being a leader means knowing your team and utilizing their strengths and weaknesses. Wow, how noble. And so with that being said, I've decided to take the punishment and kiss Johnny Big Lips. Eh? 